Hello, everyone. Welcome to Chinese Grammar Simplified. For almost every student learning Chinese, including my friend Taylor, one of the most confusing part of learning Chinese is figuring out how to use the word 就 If you look it up in a dictionary, you might find that there are more than seventy definitions of this word. 就 can be an adverb, a conjunction, a preposition, or a verb. It also appears in many patterns and proverbs. In order to provide a simpler framework to help Taylor understand the word, this video is the first in a series which will break down the common ways we use 就 in Chinese. In the next five minutes, we're going to look at the most common ways 就 is used as an adverb. Let's start. As adverbs, 就 usually appears right before the verbs. Most of the time, for the adverb 就. Instead of thinking of it as a word, think of it as a symbol, and more precisely, an arrow that indicates emphasis, sequence, or consequence. Here's what I mean: If I show you an arrow pointing at this letter A among other letters, you naturally understand that I'm trying to bring your attention to A by emphasizing it with the arrow. Now, in a second scenario, if I tell you that X and Y are two events and I put an arrow between them. I believe you would understand that the arrow here is indicating that X leads to Y, or X happens first, then Y happens. Keep these two pictures in mind, because most of the time, that is exactly what 就 does. If I say, 你见过我的朋友 Taylor 吗？那个就是 Taylor. I am saying, Have you met my friend Taylor? That is Taylor. The 就 here is like the arrow in the first picture. Used to emphasize that that person is exactly the tailor that I mentioned just earlier. We really don't need to translate it, but we should pick up the emphasis here. Here is another example. If Taylor says, "Here is my home," he is saying, "Here is my home." Taylor might be indicating that he has mentioned it before. Now let's think about a second scenario. This consequential or ordinal arrow can often be translated into the English word "than." If I say Taylor 每天一回家就吃晚饭 I am saying, as soon as Taylor gets home every day, then he eats dinner. If I say Taylor 吃完饭就玩电脑 I am saying Taylor finishes eating, then he plays on the computer. I put "than" in the brackets. Because you don't necessarily need to translate 就 as such, the meaning is implied. Furthermore, on both occasions, 就 emphasizes a sense of immediately after. Following the same logic, let's move to the next level. With 就 we、we'll、often run into a list of words that work as its partner to offer more context. Let's look at the following sentences. 只要 Taylor 高兴。妈妈就给他买一个新电脑。假如 Taylor 高兴，妈妈就给他买一个新电脑。一旦 Taylor 高兴，妈妈就给他买一个新电脑。等到 Taylor 高兴，妈妈就给他买一个新电脑。The arrow 就 here can still be understood as the word then. If you look up the meaning of the first words in each sentence, I'm sure you can figure out the rest now. They are: As long as Taylor is happy, then Mom will buy him a new computer. If Taylor is happy, then Mom will buy him a new computer. Once Taylor is happy, then Mom will buy him a new computer. And wait till Taylor is happy, then Mom will buy him a new computer. Let's look at another group of sentences here. Taylor 很有钱，他想买哪个电脑就买哪个电脑。妈妈不管 Taylor， 他要买哪个电脑就买哪个电脑。The answers are. Taylor is very rich. If he wants to buy whichever computer, then he buys it. Mom doesn't manage Taylor. If he decides to buy whichever computer, then he buys it. Here are the final two challenges. One, this computer is not Taylor's, it's mom's. That means, if this computer is not Taylor's, it's mom's. That means, if this computer is not Taylor's, it's mom's. This computer is either dad's or mom's. Two, this computer is bad or good. I will buy a new one. That means, if this computer is broken, then it is broken. I will buy a new one. Or, 
It doesn't matter that this computer is broken. I'll buy a new one. All right. You just studied eleven of the most common patterns using the word jiu. In the future videos, I'll talk about other variations of jiu. See you next time. As always, to help you practice, please take a look at the following English sentences and think about how you would say them in Chinese. You can find the answers on my website. If you have any questions about any Chinese grammar point that confuses you, please leave a comment below. For customized Chinese lessons, please reach me at TwinCitiesChineseTutor.us. Thank you for watching.